competing. And it's still one of the best in the region, Marco Cantelo. He certainly is. Proper World Series event we've got here in Copenhagen. 21. A country with a real grounding in darts. They've had players and a scene for a number of years, but they're still waiting for that one real breakthrough star. 45. Ninety-seven. Luke Humphreys talked about his frustrations in Bahrain. Felt like he had the game won against Raymond van Barneveld before succumbing to that brilliant Barney comeback. But a chance here over the next couple of days to take what he believes will be the next logical step, winning a, a World Series title. Something on the telly to add to all those Euro Tour crowns that he picked up last year. Yeah, I think that's what it's all about for, for Luke Humphreys. Step by step, he was disappointed that he didn't One go any further at the World Championship, but he's a major champion in waiting. Thank you, that was, there's no doubt whatsoever. I think all the top pros would agree as well. Well, he is one, he's world number five, but you know what I mean. All the, all the darting big guns will say that it's only a matter of time before Luke Humphreys makes the breakthrough. As we all said it was, 55. and we were all proved right eventually. Luke, you require 87. With Michael Smith. Beautiful. Game shot in the first Thirdly, leg. 14 down. Second leg. Marco to throw first. Game on. Well, Marco Cancelo is a guy who's had a couple of years on the tour himself. Didn't work out. Dropped off it, but still very much a, a fixture. 81. Scandinavian or Nordic and Baltic scene and so has played in all of these Nordic Darts Masters events 100. he's lost 6-1 in his two previous appearances though so some improvement to do on then wow with a brilliant maximum and a smile. I think, you know what, we were talking about the, the, the way that Luke Humphreys has turned not just his career, but his life around. And he has, obviously from when he started a few years ago and 57. reached a couple of world fin uh, quarterfinals, but he's lost a lot of weight. He's a dad, he's moved up north to Cheshire. And I think in, in all aspects of his life, things are things are pretty 60. good. Luke, you require one reflects on the dartboard. One six four. Not going to go. Cancel will get a, a look, one but this might have to go because it's a lovely setup shot from Cool Hand Luke. Treble single and double required. There's the single. That's the easy bit. There's the treble double top. Game and Marco Cancelo with a ton plus checkout. Quite expressive from the fin, that little waggle of the finger. What well, was impressive because the first dart, not only being quite away from the treble, it was also blocking the right hand part of the treble bed because of the way that his dart stand up. So that was exceptional from the fin. 83. Of course, Humphreys was on tops. This is what the, the players are seeing. One on 25. What we're seeing as well, 125 from Luke Humphreys. But yeah, he's on tops, and he must have thought I'm coming back here to make it 2-0. And that's exactly the problem. Brilliant angle of the dart back. That is right behind 96. the way he's throwing. And that's what made the, the treble 20 of the last visit so impressive. One it's a real block of dart for the Finn. Some decent players over the years, Finland. Kimville Yarnan, 
Yanni Harvisto, remember him going on a run at the World Championship, going back even further, Yarko Kamula. But Marco Cantler is the one who's still plugging away after well over two decades of playing top level darts. Four times he's been at the Ali Pali. Last time a couple of years ago, but he's. One run out, 25. He's always there or thereabouts. Game show in the third 14 leg. 14 dart Lick in the first up. leg. 13 Marco dart. To throw first. Game on. With leg three. Playing well. Averaging 112 for the three legs. There you go. 14 13 for Humphreys and 15 for the Finn. One home. Here to see of that 120 finish. Nobody's missed a dart at double yet. No danger of anybody being caught cold 20. in the early stages here in Copenhagen. A poignant night as well for for the sports in Denmark and in the Nordic region. There was a, a minute's applause before the start of play earlier for well, literally a Danish darts legend, uh, Jan Hoffman, who who sadly passed away recently 96. at the age of 65 and he was fondly remembered by, by all the players and, and officials and fans before, before the start of play. But it, in many ways, Hoffman was the, was the forerunner for the sport in the region. <laughs> Cantler with a maximum. Yeah, I'd echo that about Jan, one of the nicest, most welcoming men you could ever hope to meet in this sport. And instrumental in getting PDC darts over here to yeah. Denmark a number of years ago. And that PDC Nordic Baltic Tour starts again next month, doesn't it? So Jan Hoffman with so much to do. With promoting the sport and making it more competitive in these parts. Going to the 14s now. But he's got the luxury of being able to set it up. Oh, well, he's thrown it out the board. So that is going to cost him a dart. It may cost him the leg. Because Luke Humphreys is on exactly the same score. Uh, one careless start. How costly will it be? Double ten. No well, he Luke must have scored. He was so far ahead in this leg, and it's double ten now for Luke Humphreys. Down double five. Fifty. Well, I am surprised. Marco, you come to that. Sixty. Has a chance to wrong the rights or right the wrongs. You know what I mean. Well, it's not only cost him one dart, it's cost him two darts by busting his score. He's gone all the way back to 60. Four and two. incredibly, missing the board entirely. We thought it had cost him one, it's cost him twice. And it may cost him the leg, it does. It is a nightmare moment for Marco Cantilla. Game on! Well, Luke Humphreys was so far behind in that leg. And again, great support from you know, the people of Denmark and the, and the Nordic region. Over 2,500 here inside the forum for the opening night. Saturday sees the quarterfinals. That's an afternoon, the quarterfinals and the semis of the final on, on Saturday night. Yeah, we're expecting 4,000 in pretty much a full yeah. house on the Saturday night. And the Danish fans have something of a reputation for being very, very lively. 50. See the 60. The toe. The right foot. I mean, the Humphrey pushed up so far against the against the Yoki is bending it back. That's because he's very much a, a straight-on thrower. There you go. 83! 
that walk cost him. On the last dart. Probably stay there, I think. 95. Great looking first one. Comes away with another treble, and he's starting to boss this game, yeah. Luke Humphreys. Just having a look back, you know, I know you are the expert when it comes to Q School, but Cantler actually did really well, didn't he? He came through the first phase. He's had little spells, Cantler, where he's looked like a proper player. As Luke Humphreys looks at tops, doesn't get it. This is a very, very big ass for Cantler. Can he get another one in there? Always going to be tricky with where that first dart was. Mentioned earlier about how his darts line the board. 4-1. Game shot. No, no doubt leg. whatsoever. Leg Six leg. And that fourth leg is now proving to be all important, I think. No chances missed by Cantler. Humphrey's in a hurry. 85. Well, right now, Marco Cantela may be fearing that it's going to be a trio of 6-1 oh, defeats at the Nordic oh, Darts two. Masters. Two years ago, it was Peter Wright who did for him, even though Wright was nowhere near his best. Last year, it was Michael Van Gerwen who had no bother at all in seeing him off. One. And this year, you've got to say, he was in this game in the opening four legs or so, but those missed starts at double have just allowed Luke Humphreys to ease away in this match. Winner to face either Darius Labanauskas, the Lithuanian number one, or the world number one Michael Smith. 97. Tough draw for Smith. World champ, the Bahrain champ, the Grand Slam champ. Back of the ham, the dark comes from Kamtala. Yeah, tough draw for Michael Smith, but Luke Humphreys, who now wants trouble 20 for double 18, not going to get it. Might wow. have to beat the Finnish number one here, wow. then the world number one, then either the world number two or three, yep. and potentially the world number four in the final. So if he is going to take the next logical step in his career and pick up one of these TV titles on the World Series, then he might well have to do it the hard way. One round of 34. Well, just in case, but cancel it. Game shot in the six leg. And it's 5 1. And Humphrey's now is thrown for the match. Game on. But he led 5-1 against Barmy in Bahrain and lost 6-5, but no disrespect to Cantalup, he isn't to Barmy. Well, averaging close to 98 here, Luke Humphreys. The finishing has been very, very good. He's had four legs where he's been excellent. Two legs slightly ropey, but he still won them both. And it all adds up to a very solid display from Coolhand Luke, who has denied Marco Cantor even a dart at double in the last couple of legs. Yeah, the finishing has been pretty good as well. That fourth leg proving all important at this level, at this calibre of opponent. 96. You always felt it was going to be costly for Cantor. Well, there's no question it's a step up in quality in terms of the regional players here in Copenhagen compared to what we had in Bahrain. But don't forget, Dimitri Vandenberg very nearly lost his opening game last week in Bahrain. You may well see some of the top boys worry. Hang about. To finish it in style. Oh, cool and Luke, a whisker away from a 1-6-1 winning checkout. All about entertaining as well. There was no doubt that he was going to go for that. The safe option would have been to just set it up nicely with his opponent back on 205. But Luke require 25. It may be over here. Humphreys looking at double eight. 
game. Sharp. Well, that was really and impressive from Luke Humphrey. A 98 average, 50% of the finishing. And he punished the fin for mistakes early on in the game. And Luke Humphrey's the world number one. Moves through the play that Michael Smith or Darius Labanowskis in the quarterfinals on Saturday. Coming up next, Johnny Clayton.